Hi guys, so this is just a simple tutorial. So today we're going to cover how to create a simple mug or a glass, however you may call it. So to start off, we'll just create a simple shape. So modify, sorry, uh, create polygon primitives cylinder. That's just there. Fantastic. If you press F, you can zoom in, obviously. So, what we want to do is just look with that. It's polythene in the one. Oops. And we want subdivision to cut this too. Now, what that did was just create another uh, edge loop in the middle. So, obviously, we want to edit that. So, if you just right click and edge and just click on the first one and then hold shift and click on the uh, one next to it and this will select all of it and then we'll just click on the resize option and just uh, that's about fine so what we want to do is extrude the faces down so if you do the same techniques so click on one and then shift <coughs> click on the next one click on the next one it's not doing it I think I'll have to select them all. It usually works. But... but you get the gist. So you just click on that, and then what we want to do is we want to obviously push it down. So you won't push this down because it'll go with it. Control Z. What we're going to do is edit mesh, face, and um, extrude. So and then we'll just push this down to hold on. No, just control Z. Just put it in a different view. So spacebar. Go with this view. Oh, uh, that much that looks fine. Yeah, that, that looks okay. If we just push this, push this up. So, so yeah, this is just like a simple shape. And what we want to do is, obviously we want to create the the handle, and the best thing for this is the torus, because it is obviously, if you look at it, oops, I'll just delete that, we just uh, create polygon primitives, torus, there we go, okay, why is it, if we resize it, it I think it is because, yeah, so if I do 0.15, as you see, radius, radius was down to zero, that's why we couldn't see the donut-like shape, so what we want to do is 0.5, uh, looks fine, I guess. I mean, there are a lot of subdivisions, so actually, you'll have to leave it as 2020 to get that circular shape. If we just um, I believe it will be the y axis if we rotate it 90 degrees, no, it's the z and the x axis if we rotate both of them 90 degrees, we can put it into shape. We'll need to resize it obviously, so yeah. Now what we what we want to do is we only want half of the 
shape itself so what we can do is just select the faces on the oops select that if we just select them faces and hit delete and then object mode object mode select that and then just push it in obviously just um, continue to resize so that it fits with the fit. now as you can see it is a bit it is a bit of an odd shape isn't it so I think I'll have to just make it a little bigger and obviously we want a little little preview of how our shape will it's gonna come so if you just click three it will smooth it so this is something this is what hopefully it should look like obviously this will be rotated so that it fits well but um, if we go back to hitting one now that hitting three only gives us a preview it doesn't actually set it so for example if I hit three and then if I hit this which gives us uh, a render view It should give us, as you see, it's smooth there, but it's obviously not here. So, uh, what we want to do is we want to insert more edge loops, first of all, so that we can give it more of a shape. So, insert edge loop to, I think we'll put one here, and one here. maybe one here as well now what this did is obviously create um, create more edge loops but if we look at the shade of view you can see it's more of a sh shape now in comparison to the other one um, as you can see. now we want that shaded effect so what we're going to do is we're going to smooth it so mesh shape and smooth. Now this smooths the object perfectly and a simple trick when you know doing something over and over again like um, having to say create edge loops or as we're doing now smooth the object instead of going all the way back to mesh smooth objects all I have to click is G and that does it for us so it perfect it looks, it looks perfect to me It's fine. And then if we go on to the shape view, there we go. It's a perfectly nice small, uh, simple tutorial. But thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. -bye.